What's good, YouTube? Dawson here from JD Hunters, back with another video. Finally, we're back. Man, I know it has been a very long time since I last posted a video on a channel. And a lot of you have been asking where you've been, where are the videos coming, so I appreciate everybody checking in. Everything is good. Um, obviously, you can see by the title of today's video what we're doing. Um, a lot of you have already reached out to me. This is going to be a very special video. Anybody who's been watching the channel for a long time knows exactly why, so we are gonna get into all of that. Um, but because it has been so long, I do want to just kind of briefly address that. Uh, I got a lot of stuff to get to. So the reason I haven't uploaded anything really is just simply put, I've just been crazy, crazy busy, the busiest I have ever been in my life. Um, and I say that in the best way possible. I'm doing my masters. I am somewhere doing something every single day, pretty much all day. So I just, I haven't really had time to even be a collector the last eight months, let alone, um, you know, make videos. So that's why in the last four months, I haven't posted anything. I haven't bought anything. Um, like I went back through kind of the figures I've picked up this year. And since October, I'd only picked up three. I picked up Gohan, Iron Spider and Kakashi, and that was it. Um, but things are slowing down for me. I just picked up two figures, which were Two of this guy right here, the brand new Super Saiyan Vegeta, um, which brings me to my next point is that last week, and anybody who follows us on Instagram knows I posted a story that I just recorded two videos. The first one was my SDCC 2023 prediction video. You guys haven't seen that because I thought I recorded it early. I had lots of time. I was rushing to edit it. I was gonna edit it this weekend. And then Tamashi dropped the reveals, which forgive me if I'm wrong and maybe I am, but I'm pretty sure that's a lot earlier than they announced them last year. So that kind of threw me off. And then the second video I recorded was unboxing these guys, um, but I really didn't film that much. It would have been a really short video. So I think I'm just gonna scrap them both. I'm gonna show you clips from my prediction video because I did get some stuff right. Um, but obviously as you guys can tell, and as I mentioned, today we're gonna be talking about all the SDCC reveals. Um, and I, I also near the end of the video wanna talk about what we're gonna kind of start posting um, moving forward. But before I start losing some of you guys, the thing I get asked the most, highly, most highly requested video, it's time. Reacting to your SH Figure Arts Collections Part 3. You guys been blowing up my DMs for like a year. Maybe more than a year? I can't remember when I posted Part 2, Episode 2. Um, but it's long overdue. I know you guys been asking for it, so we are going to do it. I will have a post on Instagram the same day that this video drops. I'll also make a post on YouTube. Um, so please send your collections to at JDHuntersYT on Instagram. Link for that is in the description. I'm gonna give everybody one week. So make sure you come correct, man. Get those displays looking clean, looking tight. Get all those new figures unboxed. Get them on display. Um, I think this time around, I won't respond to anybody's messages. So if you send me a message, and I don't respond, it's not because I, you're not in the video or anything, I'm just gonna react to everything live. Um, because like last time, I think we got over 50, and I feel like it might be more this time, so it's hard for me to like respond to everybody, talk to everybody when everybody's messaging me at once. So I will just open up your message live in the video as I'm reacting to it. Um, and then that way you'll get my sort of like genuine initial reactions too, which I think will be cool. I know a lot of you guys have sent me pictures between the last video and now, just saying like, this is for the next collection video. If you can, please, please, please send them to me again. Um, Cause I've gotten tons of messages since then. So a lot of them probably got lost and I'll have to go and like dig through and find everything. So if you can, if you're one of those people, just send me another message. And uh, yeah, a week from now, hopefully I'll start filming that video and I'll have that one out to you guys soon. And the last thing I gotta say is if you are new here, and you guys have been killing it with the views, the subs, even though we haven't been posting. Um, so thank you for that. But if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We post a ton of SH Figure Arts content, anime stuff. Uh, we're heading to Fan Expo in Toronto uh, later this summer. So super excited for that. We'll have another toy vlog, toy hunting vlog there. Um, last year's video was a banger. Favorite video I've ever done with Joe. Joe will be back. Um, he's been busy too, so um, if you're wondering where he's been, same type of thing. He is super, super busy. 
Uh, we both are. So hopefully this summer we have more time to film some videos and then um, hopefully we can just keep that momentum rolling. Um, because yeah, man, there's, there's a ton of stuff I want to pick up that I've missed that's coming out. Um, so I'm hoping I can document all that for you guys, but I've been talking way too much. Let's get into these reveals. All right, 2023 SCCC lineup. So some new changes. Number one, only three figures this year instead of four. I think it's smart. Like I, I think all three figures that they've revealed this year are fire. Um, so I think a lot of people would just be picking up all three. You know, last year they had Shenron and I feel like um, I mean, I feel like they probably didn't produce that many, um, so that I'm sure they still sold out. I'm sure he's still expensive on the aftermarket. I haven't even checked, um, but I feel like this year it'll just be easier for people to say, yep, one, two, three, add a cart. I need them all. So speaking of last year, I didn't buy any last year. And that was in part because I didn't love the releases. I didn't need the releases. Um, it also just kind of speaks to where I was as a collector last year, just in terms of, you know, these days I'm prioritizing more, um, I'm not as like, I need it, I need it, I need it. Um, because the year before I bought everything. I got Whis, Goku, Beerus, Nappa. I got all four of them. Um, you know where we're heading with this year's release. There's one that I need. There's one that I will sell my arm for. Probably not, but you get the point. Uh, so as I mentioned, I did film a um, prediction video, which I've done every year. I'm disappointed that I didn't get it out to you guys. I don't know why they released announce things so early unless my timeline's just off. Um, but before I talk about this first figure, let's roll this clip. Um, so going back to the whole demoniacal fit thing, whenever they make a figure or a third party company makes a figure, it feels like Tamashi recently, cause it used to be Tamashi would make something that's hard to get and then demoniacal fit would copy them. Um, but now it kind of feels like Tamashi is flipping the switch and they're like, why would you buy this? Here's the official version. So uh, a lot of waves this year with Kong Studios, Demon Eagle Fit also made one, Majin Vegeta. Uh, I predicted them last year, I'm predicting them again this year. It's kind of weird that Tamashi hasn't come back with such a popular figure, especially given the success of him on the third party market. Um, so yeah, I think this might be the year. Give us a Majin Vegeta with the new yellow aura effects they've been doing, uh, with the new hair sculpts they've been doing. We just got Super Saiyan Vegeta. Um, so I know they have the sculpt ready for him. Um, so I feel like that would be a cool release. I feel like it makes a ton of sense. So yes, I did predict him two years in a row, but I did get it right this year. I knew he was coming. Imagine Virginia just makes too much sense, man. Um, you know, the third party figures have really, I think, cashed in on such a iconic form of Vegeta. Um, and Tamashi really hasn't done anything since the original release. So I think it was well past time that they did re-release him um, with this repaint. Um, and man, he looks amazing. I think you guys can probably see the one that I have. Um, so I pieced together one from Kong Studios. I absolutely love that figure. And because of that, I'm going to be passing on Majin Vegeta. Um, if it wasn't so hard to get and if it wasn't so expensive, I'd probably still get it because I do think Tamashi's looks better. And that aura effect is incredible, man. Like, ah. I'm hoping one of the third party companies just makes the aura or makes a cheaper figure with the aura. Um, and maybe it's something I pick up eventually. I honestly wouldn't mind having two Majin Vegetas in the display. Um, but yeah, man, if you do not have a Majin Vegeta or if you only have the original Tamashi release, um, get it. it. It's, if you can get it, it looks incredible. Um, I, and I usually talk about this in my SCCC videos, just in terms of how to get these figures um, for any new collectors. Um, so I've talked about it before. I won't spend too much time. You can only get them either if you go to the convention and then usually they will also release on the premium Bandai website. That is the only website you can buy them from at retail price, MSRP. Um, you know, like Big Bad Toy Store, eBay, these places will have them, but you're going to pay a premium. Um, and then in my experience, two years ago, trying to get them was crazy. They sold out fast. You know, there was this constant queue. Um, refreshing, refreshing, booted out, whatever. Um, what they did last year though, I think it was last year, I know they did it the year before, is because everybody was so upset that they didn't get stuff and because the website was crashing is that after the stock that they had sold out, they did another sort of pre-order run so anybody who wanted one could get it and then however many orders they had, that's how many they made and they just shipped out later in the year. 
Um, whereas the initial batch just shipped out right away because they had them made. Um, so we'll see, maybe they do that again this year. And if that's something they do, I might consider, I don't know, part of the, the struggle with the STCC stuff for me is living in Canada, I have to get it shipped to like a cross border service and then shipped to me in Canada. So I'm paying like double the shipping charge. Um, so if you live in the States, it's really not that big of a deal, but if you live anywhere else in the world, it is a big deal. Um, so that's why I have to be extra selective with these figures. Um, so Majin Vegeta, it's amazing. It's like a 10 out of 10, absolutely go and get it if you need it. Um, but for me, just because of those reasons and because I already have that one, it's going to be a pass, but incredible figure. It looks fantastic. All right, next up we got Raditz. This is not one I saw coming. So and for anybody interested, um, my predictions were Majin Vegeta, um, full power Frieza, full power Kaioken Goku from the Saiyan Saga, and then um, future trunks from Dragon Ball Super. Um, and then I'll talk about the last figure a little bit too, because I did have a prediction on that. Um, but yeah, man, Raditz looks amazing. Um, so the armor is a little bit darker. I think it's a little bit more anime accurate. I like the way it looks. Um, and it looks like they've kind of retooled the faces. They did the same thing with Vegeta and the last figure we'll talk about. I don't know if it's just the decals on the eyes. Some of the sort of embossed expression lines just look amazing on this Raditz figure and same with Majin Vegeta. Um, and then obviously they add the little Kid Gohan accessory. So that's gonna really complete that figure. You can pose them together. Um, in that sort of iconic scene. The first time we really saw, um, you know, Gohan show off those hands. And um, yeah, the little Gohan looks amazing. Too bad it's not articulated, but I think that in order to get that scale perfect, because he's so small, they had to do it without articulation. Um, and that's fine with me. That's like, if I got that, that's the only way we want to pose it, is him like sort of charging forward. Um, this is going to be a pass for me. Raditz is one that I was always just kind of on the fence about. Um, I don't have a ton of room in my Saiyan Saga display. Obviously, I can rearrange stuff to make room, um, but the biggest issue with that display for me always is going to be the Great Ape Vegeta. Um, he just takes up so much real estate that it's hard to really load in that many figures. Um, I'm not opposed to it like forever. Um, if the price is right and it makes sense and I find it one day, I'll pick it up. But for now, just where I'm at in collecting, financially, whatever, it's going to be a pass for me. Um, but it's the same thing with Majin Vegeta. It looks incredible. This is a 10 out of 10 figure, a really good idea on the release. Um, I believe the first Raditz was a um, premium Bandai release. So a lot of people probably missed him. I know he's pretty expensive on the aftermarket as well. Um, a lot of figures are these days. Um, so I think this is another smash hit. Okay, <laughs> man, I don't want to do the whole big, like, oh, finally moment. Yeah, that brother's starving. Um, like, this is definitely a huge moment for me, personally. Um, you know, it's kind of like finding out that you're having a kid or something, you know? Don't. Cut that out of the video. Um, but no, this is super exciting, but I don't want to have this big moment yet. I want to wait until he's in my hands, you know? That's going to be the moment where we cut all the clips of me asking for this figure. You know, where we play the music where I go over all the DMs you guys have sent me saying, don't worry, you'll get them eventually. You know, all the eBay listings I thought about. Um, man, that's gonna be a day. That's gonna be, the, that's gonna be the biggest day on this channel, in the history of this channel. But that's right, ladies and gentlemen, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan is here. And man, this Released is incredible. This is the best thing they've ever, ever, ever made. Um, I always said that the Great Ape Vegeta was the best thing they've made. This is this tops it just as a release, not in terms of like the figures individually, but not not only have I been asking for a Super Saiyan 2 Gohan remake forever, but I've been asking for them to make two packs forever, um, the same way that like Marvel Legends does or. Star Wars Black Series does, stuff that Hasbro does. Um, it just makes sense, man. Like, I want them to do Kid Trunks and Goten. Um, man, I never expected this though. This is insane. So when I did my prediction video, I talked about Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Let's roll the clip. Before you ask, no, I'm not predicting Super Saiyan 2 Gohan because I don't want to be right about that. Because if he is an SCCC, 
reveal, which, if I'm, come here, come here. If I'm being honest, I think you might be. But I'm not gonna predict that, because that'll be some bullshit, and I'd have to pay God knows how much to get them. And, I, and you guys know, you know how long I've been asking for that figure to be re-released. Dream, like that's a drop everything. Uh, I'll drive down to Premium Bandai Headquarters and get one myself. I'll drive to SCC. No, I won't drive to SCC. Uh, I'll do what it takes. I'll pay what it takes to get that figure. I'm happy, but I'm not happy. I was hoping he would be a general release. Um, you won't hear me complain, though. Like, just to finally get this figure is going to be amazing, man. This is, this is such an amazing moment for me as a collector. This was my dream figure. This was, you know... Um, the, the top of the list of any line that I collect, ever collected, this was the figure I wanted more than anything, man. It's gonna complete my collection. It will, in all likelihood, always be my favorite figure in my entire collection. And for it to come with this like ghost of Goku secondary figure is just amazing, man. Everybody's Cell Saga display. Like I love seeing when people take whatever Goku figure they choose to use for it and put them in the back uh, for the, the father-son Kamehameha. And now we're getting like the quintessential figure for this to get like this ghost version. It looks amazing, man. Like, oh my God. Um, Gohan 2 looks amazing. Um, so we got the NYCC Awakening Goku and then now with Majin Vegeta and this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Um, the way that these event exclusives have looked in terms of the SSJ hair, um, the coloring is all the same now. So if you get all three of those figures, you're gonna have consistency in your display. I really like the way they're doing it. Um, I think, I think this guy's the same too. Um, I obviously don't have any of the event exclusives, um, yet. Um, but I think the consistency is a good thing. Um, I'm still waiting for them to do that sort of platinum-ish hair. Um, but for now, I'm cool with it, man. The shading on Gohan looks amazing. Um, the battle damage, they've like actually put like dark paint in the little scuff lines. I want to thank all of you who just like immediately reached out. Um, I had like five, six DMs, and then I made a post on Instagram, and a bunch of you guys commented. Like, to have people who, as soon as they saw this figure in a line that they themselves collect, to think about me right away was um, awesome, man. I don't, I don't even know what to say about that. Thank you guys for the love. Um, like, it really has been like the, the longest running bit on this channel that that is the figure that I need, that I would do anything for. Um, and so I'm so excited. It feels like, you know, one of the big goals of the channel has finally been complete, man. And, um, yeah, I can't, I cannot wait to get it. I'm going to try and get it on the website if it releases. Um, I'm hoping they don't just keep it at the con. I don't think they will. You know, hopefully I have some good luck. I can, I can hit that release. Um, but yeah, man, the figure looks amazing. All three of these releases are incredible. I believe as far as the Naruto line goes, um, I think Jiraiya is technically the event exclusive um, because he'll just be a repaint of the original. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, super excited about that line as well, just sort of off topic. Like we're definitely, Tsunade is definitely coming. Um, hey, yo. I can't wait for Itachi. Like after Gohan, it's Itachi. I can't wait to get an Itachi figure. I really want like the Anbu version of him as well. Um, but yeah, man, I'm sure this video is super long. So thank you for bearing with me. Obviously we talked about all the figures, but I had to get through where I've been, what we're doing moving forward. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I will be doing reacting to your collections part three. Um, so I'll make the post as soon as this video drops and I will give you a week from today. Um, and then I will film the video reacting to all your stuff. Again, don't be upset or offended if I don't respond. I'm probably not gonna respond to anybody. I'm just gonna go through it once the video's out so I can keep track of it a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for all the continued support. I'm sorry that we haven't been posting a lot, but uh, like I said, hopefully this summer we're really cranking stuff out. Um, so I'll have that video reacting to your collections. I'll definitely have a collection update, hopefully sooner rather than later. Um, when I get that Gohan in my hands, that's a that's a separate video, man. That one's gonna bang. Uh, we're going to Fan Expo. That'll be a huge video as well. Uh, so lots of great stuff coming. I'm gonna try to post more on Instagram as well. If you guys want to see some like reels or stuff like that, I can do that. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for always rocking with me, for rocking with Joe, rocking with the channel. We really do appreciate it. 
Um, and we're gonna, I always say this, so I, I mean, I, maybe I shouldn't say it again, but we're gonna try and be more consistent through everything you guys have stuck with us. So thank you so much. Like I said, subscribe if you are new to the channel, like this video if you enjoyed, if you're excited for STCC. Uh, as always, let me know in the comments your thoughts about this year's releases. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And I'll also see all your collections in the next video. Let's go, man. I'll see you then. Peace.